We saved the best shots for you here now because in the National Forest, you can fly the drone and here they are. Thanks for choosing Tim and Finn. We're full-time digital nomads currently on a California road trip in this rental camper van. After arriving at LAX, we bombed up to Sequoia National Park, which you can check out in our first video of this series, followed by a truly epic 40-minute episode last week in Yosemite National Park. These sick shots right now are just outside Yosemite on the east side on Tioga Road. Thank you for letting me know I was pronouncing that wrong last week. Hey, look at that friend. love to come back in the winter and ski mammoth, but here in late August 2020, we'll be spending our time exploring as many of the dozens of alpine lakes in the area that we can in two days. We're here on Silver Lake, which has one of the oldest resorts in the area. It's over a hundred years old. And we got to revisit one of our pastimes, staying at RV resorts. Mammoth Lakes might be in the mountains, but it's all about getting out on the water. Okay, Silver Lake isn't technically in the mammoth zip code for all of you comment warriors, but it is just north, essentially at the base of June Mountain Ski Area. We got back to our old roots and stayed at the RV park at Silver Lake Resort for $44 a night. And with just a two minute walk to the lake, we saw kayak rentals for only $25 an hour, but we're completely swayed by the affordable $45 half day boat rentals many people were using for fishing, but we use mainly just for sunbathing. Of course, we don't go anywhere without our own travel gear and our compressible, water-resistant $20 backpack, which was the perfect way to pack some sunscreen, snacks, and a beer or two. That is the spot. If you want the beach, I guess. It must be a popular place. It's got all these people. Dude, the mask is covering it. <laughs> this is the face when you got a bag full of burritos. Uh, are we gonna drive to the spot? Yeah, let's go check in. Looks good. This isn't traditional Mexican coke, you know. <laughs> Some french fries, just for fun. But hey, it's a Mexican restaurant. They're serving french fries. It's Mexican food. Do you get tacos too? most important part of getting ready for any hike. Beauty. Looking cute. Beads of jade. A beauty. <laughs> Family. We're here at the Crystal Lake trailhead. Up to Crystal Lake. I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave. I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea. I just want to say. We have 
have about 900 vertical feet over a mile and a half on the Crystal Lake Trail. And it feels so good to actually hike because in Yosemite, in our previous experience a couple days ago with Pepper, no true hiking. They can just go on the paved trails. So we're actually stretching our legs for the first time on this California road trip. Four minutes into the hike, we're already sweating and <laughs> struggling with the climb. Who would have thought August would be so warm? Whoa! <laughs> How's that downhill treating you? Not very good. <laughs> well, you do have a small fluffy dog to protect. What do you see out there? No, nothing can really shock me anymore on this trip. We're lucky. Truly, it's, it's Odin raining. smiles upon us. We're getting rain. <laughs> Good thing you brought your rain jacket, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Goes to California, drought, wildfires, gets rained on. Crystal Lake hike. I actually had no idea. It ends up, I'm assuming this is probably Crystal Lake, and you can only access it by this trail. It was really steep getting up here, but it's only a mile. And I would Wait, recommend shoes you don't care about because it's insanely dusty. And if you just think that because we're here in August and fire season, it even rained. So even dusty and rain. And maybe bring your bathing suit. This little trail hike today was an awesome way to spend the day. We saw so many lakes. There were just like great lookouts, great places to stop along the way. And then at the very end, you could just chill by that beautiful lake up there, put your feet in, there were people swimming, just an awesome way to get the most out of the day in the area. Obviously, so many hikes to do around here. You could spend all summer doing it. So many activities, so many activities, but we got to keep this train going. Last thing before we hit the road, dunk one very dirty, dusty trail dog. <laughs> no dirty dogs in the van. Oh, yeah, that was a good one for you. You can get it. Yes. And I want to get this dirty. Tell me about your bathing method. It's called the, the fetch and rinse. Ready? One, this one, see? Pepper. You looking? This one? Ready? One, two, three. Oh, self-cleaning dog. Catching. Wait, give me the towel, hurry. You gotta get it before she gets onto the... Good. A shake? Stay? Or we'll just go right like that. Yes! Was that enough rinsing? 
Uh, I think so. It's so cold, I don't want to make her go farther. Oh, and you know what's cool is, well, you can just pan. Uh, by that big rock is, we were just behind there at the other lake. Whoa, we walked that? We were up there. Good job. Good job. Smoke, rain, changing plans, uh, internet difficulties. One thing that can change your mood is a perfect parking spot. Well, well, well. This is one of our favorite things to do. No matter where we're traveling, whether it's international in the RV or for these next three weeks doing the van life thing, just the reality of travel, life on the road. So way too many Instagram accounts and YouTube channels, just people out there van lifing. And one thing that we've never been able to figure out is just how they manage internet. Um, we have unlimited packages through AT&T. We have mobile hotspots to use. You can hear the little crinkle crinkle of a mouse. That's Allison. She's making herself a making little salad. More salad. In a parking lot. Why are we in a parking lot? Well, we're hanging outside the library where there's actual good internet speeds. Uh, well, kind of. My computer is running out of battery sitting up by, because it's not strong enough out here. This isn't like complaining, this is just like no, the reality not at all. of and why we can't do this full time because like we just can't run. The U.S. just has like the worst internet in the world. I mean, we've got great internet in certain spots, but when it comes to having fantastic internet in the middle of nowhere, like rural Vietnam in a jungle kicks America's butt every time. We were just in Yosemite. We were out by Silver Lake Resort. Well, this, um, is, this just, is part of our mammoth experience. This yeah, is the beautiful mammoth library, which is a great free resource that we're using. Part of our travel tip. <laughs> hey, that's good to use the library. That's where your tax dollars go. Yeah, but even in Yosemite, there was just like a little bit of service and it's good to send a text to your mom and say like, hey mom, I'm okay, we're alive, it's fine. No, no. Uh, or to check a Facebook post, maybe. But if, I mean, how many gigs have you uploaded today? Lots uh, of gigs, like well, dozens of gigs. Only 30, but we, so we've been here for three hours. Yeah. And so we'll be pulling into the campground in the dark just so that I can get 20 more gigs so that you guys have an episode of Tripped tomorrow. Um, again, camping, seeing nature is not about Wi-Fi, but a lot of people watch this channel to consider doing something like this full time. And this is definitely the biggest challenge. So if anybody has better solutions out there, <laughs> like all you grandfathered in Verizon people, I see you, I see you out there. People who are grandfathered in and Verizon love to tell you that they're grandfathered in That's Verizon. why I'm mentioning it because I'm just like, um, <laughs> prefacing all the comments below that are like, you should have just been grandfathered in a Verizon. That's one of the comments the other will be like, you should be enjoying it. We still have to work. This is work. Vinny has to manage YouTube. I have to have fast enough internet so that when I log into Amazon, it doesn't just spin wheels and time out and not work. So yeah, working on the road. Internet. Floor salad. <laughs> Floor salad. When the camper van is plugged into shore power, which plugs in right here, then we have outlets that work inside just like normal in your house, that's cool. When we don't, we don't have an inverter built into the car, so like Finney said, we bring this with. This has normal plugs like what you'd have in your house, and we charge our computers, our GH5, and the drone off of that. We bring this with everywhere. It's ridiculous, but it's so frustrating when you need to charge something and you can't. Um, as for 12 volt, I mean, it's just, <laughs> The reality is it's a rat's nest up here all the time. So the GH5 batteries take forever to charge up. Um, the GoPro's just running off with the 12 volt, which is nice. We almost always have an iPhone cord <laughs> charging one of our iPhones. Oh yeah, this is about to die and this is now Wi-Fi. Okay. It's just a constant swapping in and out of different batteries to keep everything charged up because the worst thing in the world. Is running out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And this is only day three to think that we did this for almost a year in the RV. <laughs> if you're wondering why we, this, this is why RVing was a challenge for us. Something about RVing, it's just like, this is what our job is and it's really hard in a car. <laughs> it's not, yeah, how about not, it's tedious. It gets really it's tedious. It's tedious. 
And look at poor Pepper. She has to sleep by inverter. Honey, this is the worst bed ever. Side in a parking lot. Be roll. Smile as you eat the salad. Be the smile, eat the salad girl. I'm thinking the longer <laughs> the stupid clip goes, the longer I'm gonna have to wait to upload it. So we better wrap this up. Mm -hmm.